For Bobby Bowden, win number 300. Florida State is the national champions of college football. You know, Coach, uh, 25 years, and this is the theme of our open date show. It just doesn't seem like it's been that long, but I, I go back to 1983 when Burt Reynolds and Vic Frenzy and Don Falls, and you flew down to Jupiter, and we did the first great moments, and uh, we reminisced about some of the memorable games Florida State had played in yeah. its illustrious history, and, you know, it, it doesn't have to go back very far, about 1980, maybe the most memorable game in Florida State football history. It's got to be one of your favorites at Nebraska. I thought it was one of our biggest. Uh, there might have been some other joys that were uh, games that were more unique and more fun, but that one was probably as meaningful as any one game we've played in the 25 years I've been here because we were going into Nebraska, who was number two in the nation, and we didn't have a, a much of a reputation at that time. And I, I'd seen Notre Dame try to beat them there. I'd seen Alabama try to beat them there. I'd seen Oklahoma try to beat them there. And it just, it, it was beyond us to do it, but we did it. And uh, that may be on a national scale, the most memorable, maybe the point in Florida State football history that everybody could point to say that was the game. But as far as statewide notoriety goes, 1977 in Gainesville, that first big win yeah. over UF in Gainesville was huge. That's right. It was my second year here, and uh, I don't think Florida State had beaten them for 10 years. Mm -hmm. And so we went in there and, and really won, what, 37 to 9 or yeah. something uh -huh. like that? Yeah. Oh, Jimmy Jordan, uh, Wally Woodham, uh, Overby had a great game. Larry Key made some great runs. Uh, played good defense and uh, and won the game. I guess when you look at that great rivalry, Florida State, Florida, and Florida State, Miami, some huge games in that series. And uh, well, Miami, the tie, yeah, you know, yeah. Uh, win, wins are wins, and uh, everybody yeah. really says, but maybe the most memorable tie in college football history had to be that 31-31 thing in uh, 1994. And probably my most memorial game with the University of Florida, we played them 25 times, was the 31-31 to -31 tie here. Because we were whipped. I mean, we were down, what, 31 to 3 and, and tied the ball game. And uh, even though it was not a win, it was a, it was a win. And, Coach, uh, I guess uh, on a national level, too, uh, getting outside of the geography of the Sunshine State, uh, Bino Cook called it the greatest place since My Fair Lady. I'm talking about the Punt Ruski, and that's sort of your signature play of your career. Probably, it? probably always will be. Uh, we've had some other ex fake field goal uh, runs for touchdowns, but that was would probably be the, the, the biggest. Coach, favorite player, 25 years as the head coach of Florida State. Have, do you have a favorite? Can you say that one guy was my favorite all time? <laughs> I could, but I won't. There's too <laughs> many good kids out there. You've had some great players and uh, guys that have gone on to have phenomenal careers in the National yeah. Football League. And uh, Always one of my favorites, Ron Simmons and then Deion uh, Sanders, the All-Americans yeah, that came in. Ron kind of started off. He was first, first big name we recruited when I came here. And then since then, we've been at Paul Porowski was brought in about the same time. Reggie Herron came in about the same time. But, you know, one thing we don't want to forget is the series we had with the University of Miami yes. in the late 80s, early 90s. That's, that might be one of the biggest ever. Bobby, in your playing days at uh, Howard, now Samford uh, College up in Birmingham, and you were an outstanding quarterback, wore that number seven proudly. Yeah. Uh, you didn't get any votes for the Heisman Trophy, but Charlie Ward <laughs> had to be special, the school's first Heisman oh, Trophy. Charlie, Charlie was special in every way you can think of. Not only as a great player, but a great human being, you know, and uh, boy, he, he, he's hard to top. Coach, have you changed any in the 25 years you've been the coach at Florida State? Have I changed any? Gotten older and gotten <laughs> probably more, probably more uh, forgiving than when I first started. You know, at the, at the, at the when I first got here, I'd fire a kid at the drop of a hat. I don't like to do that anymore. 25 years, something silver, something special. The Florida game uh, in, in uh, 99 was big because it was in Gainesville. They lose so few games down there. And so we were able to win that game and go on to a national championship. It was a number one versus number three. And that's hard to beat those folks down in Gainesville. One of the best, be best games we've had here in this stadium was when we beat Florida out here uh, in 96. When they, went on, they won the national championship, 
They were on, they were one, we were two, or vice versa. We won the game, ended up number one in the nation, but then had to play them again in the bowl, and they, they, they killed us in the bowl. But we beat one of the best teams they've ever had. The only national championship team, we beat them right here on our field. Uh, Notre Dame in the Orange Bowl was a great because uh, Notre Dame had an 11 or 12 point lead late in the fourth quarter, man. You know, and we'd, we'd won about 11 bowl games in a row up to that time. And so, we anyway, uh, uh, Danny Connell hit old E.G. Green and uh, Andre Cooper was the most valuable player and we pulled the game out in the last minute. Well, you know, uh, if you had to pick, you know, if you, you pick some of the great games of the past, uh, the tie with the University of Florida right here uh, was one of the greatest football games we've been uh, involved in. I know they don't like it, but I mean, they had a 31 to three lead with uh, 13 minutes to go. And we scored 28 unanswered points. And then we had the ball down their 38 yard line when time ran out. Well, that, was, that was one of the most exciting games I've ever been around. Oh, I guess one of the greatest public publicity games Florida State's ever been in is when we played Michigan in 91. We were number one, I believe, and they were number two or three. And uh, we gave them the worst licking they've ever had in their own stadium. Scored 51 points. Boy, Casey Weldon and Ampley had great games, and our receivers caught the ball well. And, uh, uh, and, uh, and that, that was one of the most exciting games against Michigan, Florida State. Two pretty big names. We'll never forget the Punt Ruski game up in Clemson. They had a great ball club. It might have been the only game they lost that year. And uh, Deion Sanders broke a punt for 77 yards. Uh, uh, Dexter Carter, uh, Chip Ferguson hit Dexter Carter for about a 25 or 30 yard touchdown pass. And then in the last of the game, uh, with fourth down and about six or eight on our 21, we ran punt Ruski, and old Leroy Butler went 78 yards down to the three. Richie Andrews came in and had to kick from the left hash, and he had already missed two field goals that day. But he hit, he hit the toughest kick you ever get and we won the ball game. Ohio State, State 1981 was a great one because it was our first time to go into the Big Ten there at Ohio State. And you know what, 91,000 people there. Michigan had 105 or six, but they had 91. And uh, we got behind early, but we blocked the punt for a touchdown. Then we faked the extra, uh, uh, field goal, ran for a touchdown. And then, seemed like we had some other trickery in there. But anyway, we were able to win that ball game uh, up at Ohio State, which most people don't do. In the Miami game of 89, uh, Miami ended up the year number one in the nation. We got off to a bad start that year. Lost the first two games, won the rest of them. So we played Miami, we knocked them off. Again, they went on to win a national championship. And had we not lost one of those earlier games, we probably would have been national championship. But it was a great game. A lot of good pro prospects in that game. First play we ran from the line of scrimmage, Dexter Carter went 38 yards for a touchdown. Nebraska in 80, I've always felt like was probably the most significant game Florida State University ever played. My time or anybody's time. Because it was the first time FSU had gone into a team that was ranked number two in the nation in their backyard and, and won, uh, won a game. And uh, it, it was a tough one. Bill Capice kicked four field goals that day or five. And uh, Sam Platt scored on about a six yard run. And uh, our defense was Porowski and uh, uh, Reggie Heron and Bobby Butler and uh, Keith, Keith Jones and Mutt Bonasort. Uh, I could name them all. Boy, we, that was one of the best. Had great punter and Ron Stark uh, putting us out. Ron averaged about 48 yards a punt that night. And we, it was a big upset and a great win for us, and nearly probably helped put us on the map. Virginia Tech is one of the most exciting bowls there's ever been. I think the Sugar Bowl felt that way. The fact that we got way ahead, they came back and got ahead of us, then we blew them out at the end. One of the most exciting uh, bowl games we've ever been in for the national championship. Coach Bowden, a quarter century ago, a little slip on the ice outside your home in West Virginia convinced you that you needed a little more sunshine in your life. And the Sunshine State became the beneficiary of that icy winter in Morgantown.
On behalf of all the citizens of Florida, I want to say thank you, not only for coming to FSU 25 years ago, but for staying. Your service to the state has been a remarkable mix of success and longevity. You know, in politics, we take the polls quite seriously. To think that your football team has been ranked in the Associated Press poll each week for over 11 consecutive years, well, there's a lot of folks here in the Capitol who would love a peek at your game plan. Congratulations and best wishes on your 25th anniversary at FSU. Coach Bowden, congratulations, 25 years. Who would have thought in this day and age that a coach could uh, last at one school 25 years? Obviously, it's a credit to you as a person, your leadership uh, capabilities, your coaching abilities. Um, obviously, you know what you're doing and uh, couldn't happen and, and uh, be for a finer coach uh, than you. Uh, it's a tribute to you, your staff, and your players, but obviously it all starts with you. Uh, very proud to say that I was a member of your team and, and uh, the effect you had on my life. There's a reason why you lasted 25 years. Couldn't happen to a better guy. Well, Bobby, you and I came about the same time, 1976. That was a great year for Florida State, and you've done remarkably well. Uh, somebody the other day asked me about how much were you worth to Tallahassee, and I said about $100 million. That may be sound like a lot, but I believe it's a, a, an accurate figure of what you've been worth to this town. Everybody loves you, and we know you're going to have a great season this year. I would just like to congratulate my father, uh, Coach Bowden, for 25 years at Florida State. Now, if you would, quickly, would you retire as quick as possible? Bobby, in 25 years at Florida State, you have become a legend. You have brought FSU an unprecedented wire-to-wire -wire championship and a dynasty of annual wins and finishes that may never be broken. In thinking about your career here, I'd like to borrow some words from Winston Churchill when he reflected on the pilots who fought the Battle of Britain Never, Bobby, have so many owed so much to so few. Congratulations, Coach, on your silver anniversary at Florida State. Coach Bowden, I'd just like to congratulate you on your 25th year at Florida State. Uh, it's a great honor, and it was a, a great honor for me to be able to say that I played for you. Congratulations. Uh, Coach Bowden, uh, congratulations on 25 years at Florida State. And I'm truly grateful that I had the opportunity to be a part of um, five five of those, year, those years, and um, and thanks for giving me the opportunity to um, do what God has called me to do, uh, be an athlete, but more person, more importantly, be the person that God has called me to be, um, which is a Christian and, and a quarterback, and um, a good person, and I'm truly grateful and honored to be a part of your organization, be a part of you. And um, may God continue to bless you for 25 more years, hopefully not in football, <laughs> but, you know, uh, for the rest of your life. Um, I know you want to continue to play, but, I mean, continue to coach, but, um, you know, you have to give it up sometime. Maybe I can take your job. <laughs> Hi, Bobby. Just want to congratulate you on uh, 25 years at Florida State. Doesn't seem like that long ago uh, when... Uh, you had to come up here and play Nebraska four times in a row at, at Nebraska, which was uh, pretty unfair, but you held your own, did a great job, and, and of course we've had a lot of games over the years, and uh, you usually have prevailed and have done awfully well. So just want to congratulate on, you on a, on a great career and, um, and all that you've accomplished. Uh, I had some advantages here, and then I started out with a program that was already pretty well developed, and you took one that was really on the ropes. and made it into a great program and so uh, you've been a great friend you've stood for all the right things in college athletics and really proud of you and want to wish you very the, the very best this year you gotta keep fighting you got this field you got to like the national champion for bobby bowden win number 300 Florida State is the national champions of college football. When it came to Tallahassee, the only good thing was the bad.
band But now them fight Seminole Are the best team in the land Bobby Bowden You're the coach for me Bobby Bowden Please stay in Tallahassee You get knocked down, you gotta get up They make 20 yards We'll regather and stop on the next play You can't hang your head You can't quit You gotta keep fighting you're 100%, that's all you do. <coughs> we go out this field, you got to go back to the national champion. Go out there and just knock the heck out of them. I'm talking about take it to them. If we put you in there, I mean, you go out there and you play like a home record. You don't want to hold nothing back. Are we going to let them beat us? No, 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 no. Let's get out there and get on. I think the attitude had turned around, hey, we can win at Florida State. One of the most creative football coaches of all time has to be Bobby Bowden. I remember in the early days when no one would come to Tallahassee, so Bowden took his team on the road. The Seminoles became the road warriors. Here's Weldon looking, throws the ball, it is a lateral to Charlie Ward, trick play right back across the field to Weldon, Weldon's got the ball, he'll run, oh boy. Weldon to the 30 yard line, Weldon to the 20 yard line.
I found all I'm waiting for And I could not ask for more And looking in your eyes Seeing all I need Everything you are Is everything to me I know heaven must exist And these are the moments I know all I need is this I have all I've waited for And I could not ask for more I could not ask for more than this time together Could not ask for more than this time with you And every God gives me good health, and as long as Florida State wants me here, that's how long I want to coach. 